All right, so take, let's take a look at this method we call elimination. Um, again, from our vocab, it is called elimination because we will eliminate one of the variables. We'll eliminate the x's or we will eliminate the y's. So in our first system, what I want to point out is the structure of the system. You can see that our x's are lined up vertically, our y's are lined up vertically, and the equal sign is lined up vertically, and then these numbers on the end are lined up. If everything is lined up like this, this is a really good system to solve with elimination. So elimination, we add the equations together when the coefficients of your variables are opposites. So what I mean by that is if you have, let's say, a 5x, I need the other one to be a negative 5x. Those are opposites. The coefficients are the same number with opposite signs. Um, if I have a negative 3y, I need the other y to have a positive 3 with the y. So those are examples of what I mean by opposites. So when you have a system, you want to first take a look. Do the x's have opposite coefficients? This is a positive 1, a positive 2. They do not. Take a look at the y's. This is a positive 1y. That's a negative 1y. That is what we're looking for. It doesn't have to be positive 1 and negative 1. It just has to be the same coefficient with opposite signs. Um, so that means we are ready to add our equations together. What we do is we add vertically all of our like terms. x plus 2x is 3x. So I'm just adding vertically like this. y plus a negative y cancels and gives us 0. So I don't write it down. I'm going to carry down the equal sign, and then we add the numbers on the end. 7 plus 2 is 9. What we just did is we eliminated the y's, and now we have an equation with just the x. So let's solve for x. Divide both sides by 3, and x equals a positive 3. All right, we have half of our solution. Remember, solutions are ordered pairs. We know that the x is a 3. We just have to figure out what the y is. So we're going to take that 3 plug it back into either the top equation or the bottom equation, you'll get the same answer regardless of which equation you choose. So it just depends on what looks easier to you. To me, the top equation looks easier, that x plus y equals 7. So I'm going to replace the x with a 3, and then plus y equals 7. So I just plugged the x into this top equation, solving for... Um, y, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides, and we get y equals a positive 4. So the other half of our equation, or not our equation, of our solution is a positive 4. Okay, so that one was pretty easy, pretty quick, because we had our opposite coefficients right away. Um, so always look for it, because if you have those, then you are ready to add the equations together to eliminate one of your variables. Let's move on to our second example. We have everything, check to make sure it's all lined up. If the equal signs weren't lined up, we'd have to fix that. You just wanna make sure you're ready to go for elimination. We've got our x's, our y's, our equal sign. These are called a constant term on the end, or constants are good. Um, so let's see if we have any opposite coefficients. And hey, look at that, positive 2x, negative 2x. When those are the same with opposite signs, you are ready to add your equations together. 2x plus negative 2x cancels. 3y plus 2y is 5y. Carry down your equal sign. 1 plus negative 6 is negative 5. All right, so now we have an equation with just a y because we eliminated the x's. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 5, and we get y equals a negative 1. So again, we have our solution. We know the y variable, so we just have to plug that back in to the top equation or the bottom equation. Pick your favorite. Um, when you plug it back in, you will be able to solve for the x. I'm going to plug it into the top equation. That looks a little easier to me. So 2x plus 3 times y. Well, now we know the y is a negative 1, so I'm just going to substitute that in. Equals 1. Let's go ahead and multiply that out. So 2x, 3 times negative 1 is a negative 3 equals 1. And now we can solve. We'll add 3 to both sides. So 2x equals 4. 
Divide both sides by 2, and we get x equals 2. So our solution, positive 2, negative 1. And again, we could take this x and this y, plug it into the x and the y for both equations, and if it, it should work out in both equations for that to be our solution.